Let's get another check of your forecast. Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich joining us tonight. Brad, it sure feels like, or didn't, I should say, feel like a Christmas weekend. You know, it's it like crazy. Spring. It's been, this is warmer than it was in all of November. It really feels like early May in many locations. I mean, pushing 80 degrees, you don't normally expect, is, is considering last year at this time, remember, we had the coldest period of the whole winter right around Christmas and the days after. Actually made snow in my backyard on the day after Christmas. It was so cold. We've got plenty of cloud cover and moisture to our north. We'd love to get some rain in here. The areas seeing the winter weather have really been confined to the Pacific Northwest and the Rockies and the, uh, the Sierras. Man, it's really been snowing in many locations on the West Coast. That's where the cold air and moisture is. East, East Coast, central part of the country, really above average. And as warm as we've been, it was even warmer in other parts of the country. So tomorrow, another warm one. In the mountains, we'll see temperatures in the low 60s. As you move down in elevation, we'll see upper 60s to a low 70s. The one thing that keeps us just a hair cooler tomorrow, it's going to be those clouds blocking out enough sunshine. So temperatures tomorrow generally in the low to mid 70s as opposed to the mid and upper 70s like we had today. December probably going to be going into the record books for many reasons, but you can see the above average days really have outnumbered the few cool days and the last couple have been by far the biggest departure from average. Today was 22 degrees above average, just crazy for this time of year, and that's pushing that a monthly number up even higher. We're going to be threatening records again tomorrow. 72 is the record 77 on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday will probably be really close again. So the next couple of days we're going to be threatening those records. One record will probably definitely break is the number of 70 degree days in the month of December. We're already tied for uh, number two here at the four with the you know, nine days. So we'll move up though. There's a three way tie for first here with 11. I think we'll easily make it up there and maybe jump just above that here in 2021. Just a crazy stretch of warm weather. The reason we're not seeing the cold air, the fronts are staying mainly to our north. So the storm track is up there. We, st we stay on the warm side of every system as it passes through the Ohio Valley. And the good news in the next couple of days, there at least will be some chances of rain. Tomorrow, maybe 20%, but by Wednesday and Thursday, I think that's a much more significant chance of some rainfall that will help at least with the fire danger. It's not going to stop the drought. Droughts don't form overnight. They certainly don't go away overnight. Night, but the fact that we just get any rain at all will help with the fire danger for Wednesday into Friday. I think those will be the best stretches of weather. But when you look at these departures, I mean, this is crazy. You're way up there, 20, 25 degrees above average for this time of year, and really no change in the pattern until after the first of the year. So this is our 8 to 14 day temperature outlook. Notice the cooler weather and yes, settling into close to the Carolinas, maybe just near average. It'll feel chilly if we can just get back to near average for this time of year, which is closer to the lower 50s as opposed to the 70s, which we are going to see for the next seven days. Really, really warm temperatures, but you see the change in the pattern after the first of the year. 2022 could be much cooler, at least closer to average by the first couple of days of the year.